five. Well, yeah. So, oh, and and I'm coming back, but I I had to apologize to my my um, producer who's coming down there with me because our there's a show at six o'clock and midnight. You people live in Orlando who are coming midnight. Um, and I booked our flights home <laughs> for like 6 a.m. the next morning. <laughs> oh, Lord. But you know, we're going to be right down the street from the gay hop, which is the, the, the IHOP that all the homosexuals invade after certain hours. So we're going to have to go there after our, right, our midnight right. show. Right, right. So I'm not sleeping. I'm just going to show up to the airport looking like hell and have to get on a plane to come home. <laughs> Smelling like pancakes. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> but no, I'm excited. And we're going to give away some tickets today. Yeah. Um, I don't exactly know how, but well, we're going to give away tickets. So this is what I, this is what I suggested. Maybe, maybe we could do this. Maybe um, tweet something about the show. And then uh -huh. if you live in Orlando and you're on this IG live, and even if you're not, if you see this tweet later, um, just retweet it. And uh, then Ginger will pick a winner later and tweet it out. How's yeah. that? Yeah, I might that pick work? several. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Uh, in fact, Ginger, you Ginger will do it on hers, and I'll do it on mine. So find us, um, retweet it if you want a chance to win. Uh, if you live in Orlando, management would like to tell uh, would like me to tell everyone that we are not covering transition. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was well, a that was a last Orlando, minute text I got. I cannot cover my own transportation, and I live in Orlando. I know this is a hometown show for you. I got to haul it my is. ass in from the West Coast. <laughs> well, it's a hometown show for me, but it's in uh, a venue that I have never performed in. I've been there. I've been to Will's Pub before and seen some shows. And it's it's such a cool space. If you love live music, you like like being a part of it, it's a really good space for that. But I've never gotten to perform there before. So well, I'm very excited for that. Yeah, me too. And obviously, I've never been there. So... We're gonna have a time. It's gonna be yes. a good time. So and once this is done, we'll we'll both tweet out something. And if you want to come, you want a chance to uh, enter to win tickets. Um, just retweet it, and then we'll pick a Ginger and I will pick a winner later. And and even if you don't win, tickets are like fifteen bucks. So you know, like bite the bullet and come anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's cheap. It's a bargain. You get no. two homosexuals for the price of one. I feel like I've been talking to people recently, and they're like. It doesn't matter the, the ticket price on a live show, though. They're like, $200, I'll go. <laughs> $300, I'm in. Like, well, I'm I think it's because, like, even for us, it's like we, there was such a, a long period of time where we could not go and do these shows and, like, be with people and have that connection. And now that the world has been opening up, it's like, give, give it to me. I don't care what it costs. Yeah. At all costs, I will be there. Yeah. Yeah. Just fair warning, we're gonna be we're gonna be dusting off some cobwebs, <laughs> some some social cobwebs when we get there. <laughs> I'm having all new costumes made. Oh my gosh, that sounds that just we're sounds gonna have like, some background singers. It's a good thing that you're the uh, that you're the um, the main draw because I will not be having costumes. Made. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have some made for you too. Oh, okay. What's your bra size? You just let um, me know. God, I don't know. It's a lot smaller than yours. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean I'm not trying. <laughs> uh, no, so we, yeah, like two of my friends from Orlando who sing with me a lot, um, Heather Abood, who's like one of my best friends ever, and our friend, which is her best friend, he uh, Heather, Lindsay, um, she is actually a back backup singer for Tiffany. Like, oh. I think we're alone now. But it's she's so taking funny. the weekend <laughs> off from Tiffany to come and sing with us. Well, hot damn. Isn't that sweet? Honor. I know. I'm, I'm very honored. <laughs> that is, that's exciting. Uh, and you got our, our friend Aaron coming in to play for you, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Aaron will be there. We've got um, some other local musicians that we're working with as well. And then you and I are going to sing some songs together. You're gonna sing some of your great stuff. You're gonna you're debuting some stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, so none of the new stuff. So I, I released this EP. This must be the place in September. It's a six it was six songs. I've never done any of it live yet. Um, so hold on to your hats. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the thing is, like, 
when I released Double Wide Diva, I got to sing um, Walk Tall and Friends in Low Places. But I got so, like, immediately caught up with catching up with all of my other work that I haven't had a oh, chance yeah. to really sing the album. So this will be the first time that I'm singing the album, like, beginning to end that. in front you know of that's people. My, you know, that's my favorite song on the record. And for those of you out there, this is the very room where we wrote that song. Which Isn't is that so lovely? I was just sitting here. I was like, um, well, it was your idea to do Double White Diva. And then once we figured out that hook, was that so good. Like, who should we who should we base it on? And I was like, it's Dolly Parton. Yeah. Yeah. Like so she good. is Betty Jean. Yeah. It was so good. That is definitely my favorite song. It's oh, like somebody Dolly, literally but... just asked opinion on Dolly deferring from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I think that's great. I mean, I understand where she's coming from. She's not a rock and roll person. Yeah. And she doesn't have any more shelf space for another award. So Right. Well, she's very <laughs> like just imagine how many people she has to bring in just to dust those awards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, when yeah. I went to Dollywood, it, like right after Dumplin' premiered, I went to Dollywood and they have that museum where they have like all of her costumes and awards. The awards alone is like yeah. one whole floor just stacked next to each other, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Which, I mean, good for her, but I would not want to have to take care of those. No, that's why any award I get, I send it to management. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on your shelf. Well, that's why, you know, I just tell you them all it. every time. I, I just, I don't want to win. I, I don't want to have the that. upkeep on the crown. <laughs> dust it. <laughs> that's incredible. I can't, I can't afford to win. I you mean, know? maintenance alone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, so, so, um, what else do you got going on? Like, what what's live? You're in LA now, right? I'm in LA. Um, yeah. I mean, it's just um, I'm gearing up for this uh, for this record release, and uh, going to do a release show here in July. Um, they probably do a couple of spot dates. I um, we're putting that together now. I'd love to go to I'd love to go to Asheville and play, and I'd love to go up to New York and play, which is my old stomping grounds. Uh, and then we're gonna do a show in Nashville, which will kind of I think cap everything off. So that's exciting, and um, yeah. And then I'm I'm like I'm gonna spend the the months afterwards diving into new music. So yeah. I'm excited. I do want to point things. out for those of you who are tuning in not from the south. Asheville and Nashville are two different places different. in the South. <laughs> and they're not even close. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> I know. I got a I got a four city tour in Asheville and Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, and um that's about it. Uh that's you know, if people that know me know that I'm also a really big CrossFit junkie. Um and so we just got oh. through with the CrossFit open. Um, and I thought I was done. And lo and behold, we made the quarterfinals. So I guess I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Well, I don't you. even know what that is. I, I mean, I know it's I an exercise either. thing. <laughs> I didn't either. And here I go. Uh, so the CrossFit, so I mean, it's obviously like, like uh, it's exercise, mm. like a program. I made a cocktail, by the way, before we started. I'm very proud of you. Like, I just felt like it was right. <laughs> I'm drinking emergency in my smart water. Good for you. Again, you're doing a show. I am mean, legit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, you've got this album coming out. We're working on some stuff, like I said before, um, including like uh some new music, which is really exciting. Um yeah. and then I'm like I'm just on the road. So like I'm here for another three and a half weeks. Then okay. I go home for like <laughs> a minute, go do some regular tour dates. Then I go home to do our show. And then I head to Vegas to, um, I don't even know if it's even been announced yet, but I, I don't care. It's, You're doing it now. I, now I, you just I, made I'm news, hosting, everyone. <laughs> right? I'm hosting Drag Race Live. Post it on all of your social For six shows. weeks, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm like gone for the rest of the year, which... I mean, uh, it's good. After, after Doesn't it? Feel, I was just about to say. Doesn't it feel so good just to be busy again? I. It does. I, I'm excited to get out in front of people. I'm excited to 
play the music that we've been writing in my living room for Oh, I have to two. stop you for a second. Paula Daniel Brows just joined and waved. They did my eyebrows. They oh. did the, the microblading and tattooing. Go oh. and see them. You can get, I get it on Groupon. These were $200. They were supposed to be $600. And what a deal. What a deal. What a deal. You have to go. And it's so good because you know, you know, you've seen it. I shaved, these, these are all that's real right here of my eyebrows, I don't, little I don't, Oh, I guess I have seen it, but I don't ever, I don't, I don't think I ever thought of it, but. On for daytime, as we all saw in my confessional <laughs> on Ultra 6. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bite the bullet and do it. It has been the best thing I did. I love it. Well, it looks great. All right, Thank Paula, you. that's who they're going to see? Paula Daniel Browse. Paula There's Daniel Brown. I don't even get her. paid to say that. I had to pay them. <laughs> <laughs> to give my opinion to you. And I That's obviously how much I believe in it. <laughs> <laughs> no one's looking at my eyebrows being like, yep, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to let you go. I've had so much fun catching up with you, though. I know you too. Well, I will for all of your followers here. I'll I'll tweet mine out. You tweet yours out. We'll get some free tickets to uh, 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 some people out there. And you guys can see us in Orlando. It, there's two shows on it's Sunday, right? It is no, it is. I think Saturday. It's a yeah, Saturday the twenty third. Saturday, April twenty third, and midnight. Six p.m. and midnight. Us. Come, Come see and see us. us. Get your tickets, uh, and make sure you go on our social media to enter yourself to win some free That's tickets. Right. That's right. So. All right, girl. Well, it's so good to see you. You we'll too. See, I'll talk. We'll to see you in Orlando. All right. Bye.